So I'm making this video because yesterday I was a victim of fraud at one of the Kroger stores. And uh, I bought three Lululemon gift cards, much like this one, $500 each. And turns out that someone had changed the cards inside. I have a suspicion that this one is also fraudulent. I haven't bought this, but I got it from the same Fred Meyer. I filed a complaint with Kroger, but not very hopeful based on what I've seen in the past. You know, they try to shirk responsibility for fraud in their stores. They let people come in, switch the gift cards and perpetrate fraud, but don't take any responsibility for it. So I'll show you how the fraud is done. So as you can see, the gift card is like pretty, you can't tell that something is wrong with it. It has a barcode over here. This barcode is not your card number. And that's why it's, this fraud is really bad because when you call Lululemon, they're like, oh, what's your card number? And as you will see inside, the card is actually different. So let me open this up and show you how the fraud is prepared. Right now, there's no way to tell. So this is also, you know, bad packaging by Lululemon. And as you know, Apple actually lost a class action lawsuit or settled a class action lawsuit, wherein, you know, their packaging was deemed to not be tamper proof. So let's open this. As you can see, again, not any, not any easy way to tell that fraud has been perpetrated. When you open it, it opens much like a regular gift card that has not been fraudulently replaced. Now, when you open this, there are a few ways to tell. Right now, as you can see, it's, it's difficult to like uh, do it with one hand. So this is the card. And one thing that you can see is the card number over here is, uh, if I can make it zoom, ends in 6420, while the card number over here ends in 01472. So straight away, you know, there's some kind of fraud. This is not the card that was supposed to be in this package. Uh, when you take this thing off, you can see this kind of sticking over there and voila, the pin has been replaced. So what's being done over here is these fraudsters, they take these back from the store, they replace the gift cards inside these with some random fake gift cards, put them back in, seal them up and put them back on the store shelves. The stores have absolutely no security to check that someone's putting uh, a card over there. These things are laughable, no tamper resistance packaging anywhere. And as you can see, the last two of the pin over here is scratched off, so you can't use this card. And anyway, as, as we have seen, this card is not the one over here. So when you loaded money to this card, it actually did not go into this card. I don't know if there's a fake card, if someone else is loading money to this, whatever, but unusable because the pin is not there. Uh, similar thing happened to me. Three cards, $1,500. When I called Lululemon, they were like, oh, we can't do anything about it. Our gift cards are like cash. Obviously they can, because they should be able to look up their gift cards using this outside barcode, which should tell them where the card money has been loaded, but they pretty much refuse to help me. I'm going through Kroger now, and if they're not able to help me, planning to go to small claims court. But yeah, this is this is how fraud is perpetrated. Uh, really, really hard to catch this fraud unless you open the package, remove this silver thing, look at the card, compare it, try to see whether it's already been opened or not and then activate it. And most stores, once you open the card, will refuse to sell it to you. So that's the Cash22 over here. Hopefully this video gives you an idea of the fraud that's happening. This is very, very prevalent. I hit this fraud at Fred Meyer in Redmond, Washington, but all around the country in the United States, this is happening.